So in Sri Lankan culture, coconut tree is, is treated as a, some kind of a sacred tree because everything matters in a coconut tree. So we, nothing is wasted. So losing a coconut tree is, is, is a, a kind of psychological loss. Economically also it is very valuable. So this red palm weevil is an insect, tiny insect. Uh, they lay their eggs uh, in the damaged areas of the tree, the trunk of the tree. And then they grow inside the tree. So grow inside the food is the fiber of the coconut trunk. Uh, like they work like swarms. And then they come and invest more and then they, they, they lay their eggs in the nearby trees. So it goes on. The tree started to bleed and then die. And so that causes about 10% of uh, destruction. Uh, out of the whole coconut industry in the whole world. In Sri Lanka there is loss in the order of several million pounds. Uh, so that is, that is massive. Then the farmers, uh, they fight back. The, by that time it is, it is too late to rescue the tree. Uh, so then they have to burn the tree. So that is what they have to do. I, I knew that there is a simple solution to this. If you have a sensor uh, that helps you to detect it early enough, uh, you can treat and get, get checks done yourself. Uh, so the solution is, is using processing power from the human brain and then empowering that with some cool technology. So you engage the farmer in the process and empower him with a little bit of technology. That is my approach. The lava has very rhythmic uh, crunching behavior. So once it is active, they, they crunch like that. Right? So you have fiber and then they, they eat the fiber. So all what you do is with this device is to pick up that uh, frequency components and make it a dominant signal. So we are just refining the signal a little bit and good enough to a good enough level so that the farmer can take the decision. And we do another third thing. So we get pure crunching sounds from the lava and then we, we allow the farmer to play it back before testing the tree. And then he knows, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, and then the auditory cortex of the brain is so powerful if you have a template to match against. And then they, they listen to that corrupt signal from the tree and then they can immediately detect it. So that, that, is, that, is, the, that is the biggest innovation in this. So you wanted to cut down the cost. We'll, we'll use an Android CPU, uh, the already available, but you know, good enough to do signal processing. And then we'll use an app to borrow the processing capacity of the Android. Now, the mobile phone usage in Sri Lanka is 97% of the population. Uh, so that is like people who may not afford three meals a day will have a phone. So we want to just run on top of that platform. Hi, I'm Richard Stevens and I work for a product design company called Original Breed. We're developing both the app and the sensor. Our company actually, what we're all about is solving problems and people come to us all the time with difficult, tricky things that we have to try and solve. So this is right up there. So we're using a, a, an acoustic sensor um, to actually listen for a particular sound and that is done through a piece of hardware which connects to a phone and the phone has an app which allows you to be able to monitor and listen to these sounds. Well, it's a bit like a stethoscope for your phone. You just plug the device in here, the sensor, um, and then you attach some headphones and you can listen to the sounds um, and monitor them on the app. Give them the, the recipe to make a transducer. Just download the app and then they're there. That's, it. That's the solution. We, we gave it to the Coconut Research Institute to do independent testing. Um, and they uh, certified uh, the, the device. Uh, and then they found out that this is the only commercially available device in the whole world uh, with uh, to 96 to 98% accuracy of detection. The good thing about Sri Lankan farm, farming, that, that arrangement is, if the Coconut Research Institute certifies something, the whole farming community buys it. They, they rely on that. I have a lot of money. So I got to look there. Mama, I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. And then if Sri Lanka tells a good story, all other countries will have it. Will want to have it. So the, the grand, grand dream we had was to, we, we know that so many countries are affected by uh, this insect uh, from Far East, uh, Thailand to even Brazil. 
and the palm industry. So to see these farmers happy again, people I know in Sri Lanka uh, who are going through this problem, and then including the Coconut Research Institute and farmers, uh, small-scale farmers I know, uh, I mean they cannot afford to buy sophisticated equipment to deal with this problem. So that is a big uh, personal reward.